we just want to remind you that there's still time to register to vote. We've partnered with the nonpartisan organization Headcount and former First Lady Michelle Obama's nonpartisan voter organization, When We All Vote, to get as many people registered to vote before Election Day. It's so easy. You can do it right now on your phone. Just text the word R-E-A-L, real. Real, that's R E A L two four zero six four nine. Again, that's R E A L to four zero six four nine to register to vote with headcount or to get election alerts to help you stay informed if you're already registered to vote. Yeah, they'll text you back with the link where you can fill in all your info and sign up so that you're ready for the midterm elections in November. And remember, you must re-register to vote anytime you have a change of address and if you've moved locally. So make sure to update your voter registration. Now, deadlines vary from state to state, so be sure to visit thereal.com to find out when yours is. And remember, the future is voting, and we all have to do our part mm -hmm. to make sure our voices are heard. We want to hear your voice. We'll see you at the polls November 6th. Imagine saving up money all year long, putting a little bit away each week in an envelope. Now imagine if your two-year-old took the money and shredded it. Well, that's what happened to parents Ben and Jackie Belknap, whose two-year-old son Leo shredded $1,060. They had saved all year to buy oh! football tickets. Oh, no. That's oh my it gosh. right there. But all isn't lost just yet. The Bureau of Engraving and Printing actually offers a free service to try to help and repair destroyed money. Thank God for that. Oh my gosh, no. that is crazy. Sam, you better start hiding your money from Mariah. Oh Say that. no, no. My <laughs> No, Araya wouldn't do that. How do you know? No. That right. two-year-old, they didn't think he was... Well, yeah. he, he did. Anybody named you Leo will take right? your money, right, Leo? Well, Thank you. The thing is, if I'm going to question it, I always just put it up high. Yeah. Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? So if I don't want my kids touching it, just put it up high. Put it away. Yeah. So well, they can't get to it. They it's never heard sense. of a safe, Very a easy. piggy yeah. bank, the closet, something with a lock and a key. Yeah. You know what I think was fascinating? How it's a child and they don't realize that that money wasn't anything to him. Yep. You know, that kind of like takes me back. Like, yeah. you know, sometimes, you know, it's like for us it was valuable, but to that child, it was like it was just a piece of paper. It was a toy. Oh, yeah. see, <laughs> you, I'm trying to get really meaningful with you right there, but the age... <laughs> The Asian side of me is gluing that back together in my mind right now. <laughs> oh my God, it's like piecing it together. Have you guys ever accidentally washed your, your clothes and you like saw a 20 or a 10 or even like a they dollar? They just dry yeah. it. You, no, but it's all crumbled up in pieces. Dude, I'd be giving like, I'd be giving <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin a whole new nose job trying to tape that but together.